Every event has a bracket of death, where fate forces a lion's share of the league's top killers into harsh battles, just to survive, just to make it out of the prelims. Because only half of the league plays on Sunday, and Sunday is the only day that matters in pro paintball. At the NXL Lone Star Major in 2023, the top three teams overall all came out of the same bracket. And in the final battle for the win on Sunday, it was Houston Heat vs. San Diego Dynasty, a rematch from the second major event last season, where Dynasty dismantled Heat in a 7-1 Mercy Rule victory. This time, the finals will be a more contested story. Though Heat and Dynasty's roads to Sunday went through the same bracket, the roads to the final match took different routes. Since the COVID break of 2020, San Diego Dynasty has been driving a stake into the hearts of the other top teams' dreams of dominance, winning more than half the events. But what has made this run so special is the adversity that they've faced along the way, and Texas was no different, as they dropped their very first game in the prelims on Friday against Infamous. Though Dynasty had a clean run through their... Welcome here, 2023 NXL Mid-Atlantic Major, the third big tournament of the year. Matty Marshall here alongside Rich Tufford, and we are about to start the very first battles in the prelims here in, that, in this magnificent field. The conditions are great. Perfect paintball weather right now, a little overcast, a little outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Infamous taking on Legion Impact and Rebel here in this first set. So, Rich, Let's talk a little bit about Infamous. They looked very much improved, making it all the way to the semifinals at the last event and losing a one-point match against Houston Heat, who was dialed in at that last event. Talk to me a little bit about what you're seeing here, Los Angeles Infamous. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing here. Obviously, they're, they, they, they played well at the last event. It's, it's really, for me, like the look on this first field, right? This is a much different field than the first two layouts, right? So uh, there's going to be a lot of different looks. And I'm really interested to see Infamous's take on that because they have so many talented players. You can see there, Nate Schrader yeah. on your screen, coming back after a couple years of dealing with some very severe shoulder injuries. Look for him to beat the attacker on the D side. And for Infamous, they are missing a couple of their key first attackers here, Rich. Who are they missing? And they don't have Zach Patient. Ooh. And they also do not have Jonah Jamrose. That hurts. They're one, two, eight. I, again, I'm sorry about the cookies. <laughs> sorry yeah. about the, and Jamrose family, thank you so much. The cookies were amazing. So it's going to be up to uh, Tim Russell back there, also on your screen. Yeah, they got so many heavy hitters. You know, even though they're missing those two key guys, they've still got lots of depth <clears> on the on the roster. Yeah, and then also Sam Silberg. So <clears throat> look for those three guys as the first attackers. They're they're twos, they're threes, very solid. Even with the loss of Cody Minkowski. Um, they're taking on Red Legion though. Red Legion very disappointing. Starts uh, start 16th overall here for Legion with a 19th place at the first event and 11th place at the second event. A little bit better for them. Uh, and a little bit of a rebuild, right? I mean, yeah. it's not a full rebuild, but they're bringing new guys into the roster. They, you know, they they have had all four of their like starting guys for each of the events, so they haven't had not a Russian line, but only four out of five of them. So they're trying to develop their uh, young guys, their up and coming guys. But they definitely have struggled more this season than we have seen them struggle in the past. Well, with Kirill Peridny, uh, Karzlev, uh, Sergei Solnysko, Alexander Burtnikov. I mean, these are some of the greatest players. To, uh, these are all stars. So Ever, with yeah. those four. I mean, we're just expecting even, you know, just whoever they're throwing out there is the fifth body, but that just goes to show you how difficult it is with the top 20 teams in the world in the NXL Pro Division. So we'll see Late here, nine. can Legion get some redemption and start making their way to another Sunday appearance at, you know, we just, we haven't seen them out there so far here in 2023. We'll see with Infamous, if Infamous can step up and Legion drops some of these first, player first attackers. Yeah, so great off the break shots for Infamous dialed in immediately here in point number one. Of the Mid-Atlantic Major, a couple repositions here, Snake side. As yep. we see our eye in the sky, is Legion going to be crawling up here into this pretty huge snake structure, Rich? Talk to me a little bit about this snake and what do you think is going to be working out here on the snake side? Yeah, we saw a lot of points of the snake this week, last weekend, Maddie, and it's 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 not your typical snake. It's got a large bunker on the 50. It's almost like a two snakes, right? There's the outside wrap on the 50, and then there's inside wrap where you can go into their snake kind of undetected but it's really hard to see where that guy goes once he gets in there. So the back center guy can see the guy release, the, the god or the uh, spot bunker can see the guy releasing the snake, but once they see him get in there, unless he's shooting at you, you don't know where he's at. So a lot of times a guy will get in there undetected and shoot three or four guys, Matt. Yeah, undetected. That's going to be the uh, one of the key words here of this weekend's battles. Uh, so, yeah, both teams here with the player in the snake is Russell back. In the snake right now for Infamous, and a little out, a little more out wide than Legion. Legion tucked into snake two and shooting down that big gap there in that snake structure from the 50 brick. Yeah, I and like Russell back playing up, up front for Infamous much more than I like him playing in the back. So there's the battle here developing on the snake side. On your screen, Russell back and Infamous 
there in the yellow and black. And they're starting on the red side of the field. And then Legion on the blue side. Five on four situation here currently in favor of LA Infamous. Yeah, both teams trying to not make a mistake because the, winning the first point is so crucial in these matches. It just gives you, you know, a little bit of advantage going to that second uh, point. And that's, you know, all we're looking for is tiny advantage. I think Brett Messer got Yeah, shot. I was going to yeah. say the same I thing. I was four looking for Matt. Yeah, I think it's a four on four situation. And uh, Legion also with a little penetration on that D side getting out into D2. Listen, it's early. We're going to miss the body here and there. Okay? Well, uh, Messer, we're we're look, I was looking over the pits. I was trying to count the bodies. And I was like, wait a second. I think they might have lost a body because, you know, those little nicks on your pack you don't yeah. feel because he was asking, hey, yeah. was I hitting my pack back here? And they're like, yeah, man, it's right here. So who's going to be the next body to drop is the question here with Brusselback still outside <clears throat> the Snake 2. Yeah, with Infamous having three players dedicated over here on the Snake side and only one on the D side, Red Legion with two D side, two snake side. So, so again, four on four, but different positions. Infamous favoring the snake side. Red Legion favoring the Drear side. Schrader still at D1. Russellback has some help with two more bodies his way as they have a body at the spot can. And then I think that's Barrett outside wide at the cake. Uh, Britnikoff's also mirrored up that move with uh, Barrett. And then here comes a move past the 50 yard line here and trying to get the crossfield shot as Karzlev in a real good position here for Legion. Great move, too. He, he backed up off and accelerated and dove right past the blue bunker into the red Dorito side, Matty, so that he didn't get caught crossing that big gap over there. That's That gap between those two Doritos, Matt, is at least six, 700 feet. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough to get <laughs> it's across. It's pretty it. big. And now getting into the 50-yard oh, line, Snake wraps around and is actually look. going to get shot Yeah, on his first look. So body coming off right now for Legion. And here comes a couple moves. The Schrader is going to launch. He's trying to find Karzlev on the D side. Nate's looking for it. I think he might have caught, and he actually fully has to commit to trade his body to do it. They're going to lose another, another body. Yeah, so Silberg comes off as well. So Nate Schrader and Sam Silberg taking the walk, and there goes another one as Callie Rudolph is going to get shot crossfield from, I believe, Sergey, who dipped in to D3 during that chaos, and he's the last body left alive on that D side here currently. Barrett trying to do damage control. He comes over to the Aztec as Sergey passes 50-yard line. He's going to be able to get the pinch here on Barrett. Tim Russell back, though, still alive. Two on two as a sea of infamous players walk off the field, Matt. Five on two to a two on two here. Oh, beautiful kill there on Sergey. I'm pretty sure that was Barrett. It might have been Tim. And then they're going to eat up Burtnikoff as well, too. So the first point as a little bit of chaos sets in with that nice move from Nate Schrader yeah. to try to crack it open on the D side. He did get his man. Silber came off during that as well, too. They lost Cali with the move up on the D side from Sergey Sonaiskov. But then Sergey loses a gunfight, and then it was a two-on-one -on -one situation, and they immediately shot uh, Burtnikov as well, too. Yep, and great close there from Joe Barrett, realizing he had to uh, get that key kill on that Drew side. Save that point. Well, that's Barrett is so good at that, right? I mean, that's where Barrett excels. He excels in those moments. He had we've seen some decent offense out of him. He's his game is becoming very refined. And he was pretty clear about excelling in all aspects of the game, Matt. It's all good. aspects. It's good to see. We're in the pits right now with Legion. Need to figure that one out. Next up, though, it's going to be Edmonton Impact and Baltimore Revo. Revo rebuilding this year as well, too. They got a new owner trying to get some uh, some free agents. And I like a lot of these pickups, but, you know, it's been a rough one so far for Revo here at the first two events. 15th at both of the first two events. And Edmonton Impact uh, taking eighth at the last event, third at the first one, ranked fifth overall starting out here, point number one. Impact and about? Revo are both doubling up that back center to go heavy guns, Rich, and it does produce a kill for Edmonton Impact, and they get Axel God in all the way past the 50-yard line. Very aggressive breakout here, and he's going to get that inside kill. Yeah, Revo, Revo got to be careful not to get a penalty there. Yeah. Maddie, how do you think about the, what do you think about the pace of that first point? The infamous point? Yeah. I thought that's kind of what we're going to be seeing a lot of this weekend. I felt for the first point of the game, it was kind of a long, slow point, which might bode to more long and slow points. Going yeah, but forward. then we see impact yeah. burst it open quick. They shoot that wide body, get Axel into the snake. He gets that free kill inside. Laval very quick on the go right behind him. And then here comes uh, Jackson, Fuzzy Jackson, filtering I, up to that 50 brick. I love this for impact. And I love this for play call from Dave and from Bart because no one expects impact to attack early on this first point. Go right into your snake, rap and get a couple kills like that. 
So they're just really, uh, really leaves Revel off balance going to that second point. Like, oh, are they going to come hard again, or are they going to do their usual sit back and cross it up? Yeah, this was a real solid point yeah. here for his almost uh, impact by first degree murder here yeah. in this yeah. first point. Certainly, at least second degree murder, if not first degree. <laughs> well, they, you know, they got no. That, that was premeditated. It is first degree. Well, both teams double up that back center, right? And it does produce a kill for impact. Does not produce a kill for Revo. They get that outside kill, but then it, I couldn't. I think it was a play. It was a set play. Didn't look like a read. Maybe it was a read from Axel, but he was already past the 50-yard line as soon as I looked at the kill for Revo and head checked back to see where impact was <laughs> Axel a little speed demon he's already in you know snake. popping up yeah. past the 50 in the snake uh and then he gets that you know moves up a bunker gets that free kill inside they just had no idea that that he was that far off but yeah. that's that's the power of this snake side if there's no one in there contend uh and you are unaware that there's a, a player I mean it's a it's a huge snake structure with a forest of bunkers that there's runs the length of bunkers, the field yeah. <laughs> Jumping into point number two here, Infamous up by one, kicking things off. Russell back, Snake on the break for Infamous. Red Legion taking Dorito three over there. So big bite on the Snake side for Infamous and Dorito side for Red, Red, Red Legion. Five on five for both teams as Russell back gets the 50, wraps and puts pressure on Snake side, gets his first kill on Malloy. Much better field gets position. Second kill. Be better field position and some damage right now as Russell back is feasting here in the Snake. Thomas Taylor, the veteran, he gets up to that 50 yard line brick in the center. Better field position on the D side for Legion, but it doesn't really matter right now as this snake side is completely blown open and yeah. infamous with three bodies either at the 50 or right behind him is uh, looks like Barrett is also right behind. Like, I'm liking what I'm seeing out of this combo well, here like on the snake we, side like for infamous. Said, if you get in the snake undetected, right? Yeah. You do a lot of damage. Yeah. If you make your shots and he's gotten four. Russellback's feasting right now. Yeah. Five on one here. Infamous is probably gonna pull this point out. Yep. That's a solid point there for infamous. Yeah, and a good opportunity for Tim Brusselback and Nate Schrader and Sam Silberg, who are going to be the main attackers uh, for Infamous, um, with no Zach Patient and no Jonah Jamrose. Also, fast point there, not giving Revo a lot of time to kind of recalculate it after that first impact point, Matt. Yeah, that that is a definitely. You look at <laughs> if you lose the first point like Revo just did. <laughs> you want some time. You kind of would like a couple minutes to hey, discuss with. Help just a went brother down. out, right? Help a brother out. Give me some time to figure this but out. Unfortunately, Clearly, we don't know what's going on. Unfortunately for them, a <laughs> little too much Tim Bussell back out there. His infamous yeah. uh, just demolished Legion to go up by two, and now Revo didn't have much time to talk about that first one. So impact up by one. It went pretty fast, so there still is a ton of time left. Yeah, they weren't even done making excuses about that first point, and they had to go back out there to play the next one. Revo changes to two and two, Maddie. Impact six with two in back center. Snake on the break again. Revo knows they're in the snake. Center brick is calling snake side. Impact dropping their first player, and Nick Laval takes a pack hit, draws a penalty. Ooh, so. penalty. Oh, and another penalty. Yeah, pulls off Reeser. So yeah. it's just Zupa by himself over here on the snake side. No one is, the, is in there with him quite yet, but there goes Omara. Omara into the snake, and here's the battle here on your screen. Who's going to be the one to prevail as Omara is going to try to dunk? On, it looks like he does. Gets that kill on Zupa. Tries to stay penalty, alive, man. but he's going to get a penalty. It's oh, going to be a major, a major penalty, Rich. Out. So two penalties in this match, major and minor. Major really hurting Revo. Revo should easily win this point, but now it looks like it's a one-on-one -on -one or a two-on-two, -on -two, Matt. Yeah, players repositioning is, looks like Cornell, Justin Cornell going to be coming over here to try to count the bodies in front of him, figure it out. Velez, Rob Velez. On uh, back on Revo and playing against his former team with uh, Impact at a little time in the semi pro division, but she's been it, looking forward to this opportunity. Yeah, I, I talked to him this morning. He looked very intense and fired up and ready to participate here in this battle. And uh, it's just him over here on the Snake side versus Justin Cornell. Yeah, one on two. Impact uh, has the advantage here. I think, got that a, I think it's two on two. Oh, yeah, two on two, two, on two. Buddy. So small Dorito for Revo and the uh, small brick on the first Snake with Velez. JC's in the Snake corner for Impact. And I can't see, but maybe Brandon Cornell. No. Little tactical retreat. Yeah. For, I think that's Darula. Okay, yeah, Darula over there on the D side. Looks like Revo's taking the offense. You know, they've got, they both got two, but Revo's going forward from the center brick to the center tower now. Looks like they've kind of lost him. Cortez, Silos Cortez, new pickup for Revo this year. Hunting. Yeah, he's hunting for it. I like the moves that Cortez has been making here as. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, two on two situation. No one out wide really on that D side. I don't. Yeah, everyone's just trying to figure out where the bodies are yeah. right now. I know with all the chaos that just yeah. set in with those penalties. Oh, and look at that. Cor Cortez gets the shot. Well, and now it's a one on two situation. And yeah. Cornell sees that death, and he's gonna be forced into attack. But then he gets eaten up as well. Nice little two pack there for Cortez. 
and a, a great job by Rob Velez and Silos Cortez to win this point here for Rubbo to tie the game up. For sure, and that's the point that they need to win because usually Henry Sense is in there kind of helping them win those points, but he's out injured this event on crutches over here on the sideline, helping more as a coach as, than as a player. Yeah, it's uh, lots of injuries out here midway Dude, through the season. I don't want to blow this. Like, it's it's a tough sport. <laughs> like, if you're <laughs> fragile, you might want to find another sport like cornhole or something. Yeah, I mean, Because people are breaking left and right. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I mean, some of these guys, you know, Henry Sen's been doing this for a long time. Um, guys like Dalton Vanderbilt, you know, he's out for, I think, at least three months. Um, had to have surgery on his elbow, which he played with at the last event. So he's. <laughs> with, like, a golf ball on tough it. As, yeah, tough as a golf ball nail. slash grapefruit. Yeah, and then, you know, as we go through, we'll be mentioning uh, who's down bodies on certain teams, but it, it's some teams have been getting beat up a little bit more than others as far as injuries, but that's why you carry deeper rosters if you if you can afford it. If you, <laughs> you can know? afford it, yeah. You can keep eight, ten guys around, ideally ten, then lose a couple guys, next man up. Infamous Ooh, and little. Red Legion both taking big bites on Dorito's side. Red Legion gets all the way to that Dorito 40, Matt, as they now attack the snake. Red Legion with the snake and the 40 center tower. Two in the back, Infamous with four in the back and one in the wing on the snake side. Still five on five here, Rich, as, Pars uh, as Karzlov gets past the 50. But four on four, Matt. Yeah, four on Three four. Three on four, Matt. Yeah, Le Red Legion advantage. Yeah, but better field position here in this four on four situation for Legion as they have uh, bodies either at or past the 50. But look at this, though. Karzlev, okay, I thought for, for a second that Karzlev was zoning up here on his own guy in the snake, but he's going to whip his gun around and start shooting downfield again. Communication always going to be important out here <laughs> with the chaos that we're going to see on this layout. Yeah, Infamous makes two really good fills out to the snake side, Matt. Uh, Joe Barrett goes out to the snake corner, and Russell Beck goes from the temple snake insert into the uh, snake brick. They can both play defensively much better from those two positions, Matt. A lot of time left, 9.30 to go here. Legion fighting with a two-point deficit. Great field position for him currently, though. Two bodies in dominant positions on that D side right now. Sergey's going to get past the 50-yard line, uh, line as well, too, and go to the wedge. On to infamous the side of the field. Four on three advantage here for Red Legion as Red Legion is trying to break the zone. Rich, I like how proactive the snake player here for Legion is being. He's kind of been all yeah. over the place. And then they're going to get shot on Brusselback. Putting Infamous in a real tough spot here. He doesn't know the corner's hot. Yeah, Karzlev's all the way on their side. Uh, Schrader gets peeled off as well, too. And they're going to have a one-point game. Good job for Legion all across the field. Yeah, just dropping Malloy early there. Other than that, no mistakes. Full control, yeah. And I like that aggressive break. They took they took that Dorito 3, immediately went to Dorito 4. They took the snake. Infamous kind of sat back on their two-point lead, thought they'd just cross it up and burn some time. But if you want to cross it up and burn some time, you've got to get to the, at least to the points that Joe and those guys came out to on their secondaries on the snake side. You cannot do it from the pocket. Rich, always the question on every layout is how, de how, how much defense can you play? I mean, how how defensive do you think you can get? Couple, if a team goes up two, three points, right. you think they can sit on that lead and, and you play it. defense? Yeah, yeah. This is a field you can definitely cross up, but it, you got to get a, a couple forward bunkers, right? You got to get like the wing or the Dorito over there on the Dorito side, and, and one of the notches over here on the snake side. But the back center can kind of shut down both tapes. The center brick can shut down both tapes. The the, the two can, the can, the insert bunker on the snake side can kind of shut down either tape. So there's lots of variations on defense out there. We just didn't see it out of Infamous on nope. that last point. No. Nope. So that's going to be a question we're going to continue to ask here. Tie ball game right now, one to one here. Edmonton Impact in Baltimore. Revo is Revo going to go into the snake off the break and a big break for Impact on that D side. They also get Axel into the snake here on a delay, slight delay. So they're actually mirrored up. Five live for both teams, Maddie. Revo trying to get crafty here. You can see that eye in the sky all the way out wide here with Caleb Abel leaning down. They're going to get the kill on Nick Laval in the backfield here. So it's going to be a four on five situation in favor of Revo. I couldn't see if it was Caleb that got that shot, but if that was, that was a great shot. He crawled out to the middle of nowhere and just was playing that uh, blind spot out there. They just caught him though and put him back in. So again, five on four advantage here for Revo. Rebel talking it up and rolling some guns. Yeah, they're playing a little defensively here, Matty. A little the snake bit. guy's kind of setting a trap. The center brick guy's trying to shut down the D side. And the three guys in the back are pivoting between tapes. Well, they sent Caleb in early here offensively into the snake. And then he was being very proactive in there and trying to get creative. But yeah, just uh, maybe try not to squander this one body advantage they currently have. Better field position on that D side, even down a body here for impact, though, as they're out into D2, out wide. Jackson's going to filter out behind Axel. Axel into Snake 2, still mirrored up with Caleb. 
We're looking at the blue side here. This is Baltimore Revo. These teams will be switching sides if a point is won. If there's a no point, they will stay on the same side. So Revo currently here on the blue side, Matt packed Jackson, on the red side. Matt Jackson making a good field going from back center to that spot cam, but I'd like to see him field from then again to the corner or to the brick of the snake so that if they lose the front snake guy, they don't lose all that real estate, you know? Because once you get, that's kind of the pocket right there is that edge. And if you're contained in there and they get penetration, it gets hard to get back out of there. Caleb now sneaking to that 50. Let's see if he can capitalize here. And now the move from Caleb takes out Axel. Does he stay alive? As referee's giving him check, looks like he's clean so far. He's gonna be shooting that inside lane. Might have got clipped there, and he did. He does have Omar right behind him, though. As yeah, Omar's at the 50-yard line here to take over the attack with four bodies still alive for Baltimore Reva. Looking pretty solid here in this point. Would like to see a little bit more penetration on that D side for him, though, right now, Rich. Yeah, well, honestly, it's uh, as close as the score is, right? Four on two advantage here. You probably want to grind. Assuming you're going to win this point, you probably want to grind this out a little bit, right? Uh, yeah, if, if possible. Clock. You also want to make sure you get the point, though. For sure. Oh, there Sean, he goes. Four Sean, on one. Yeah, four nice. On one. Sean Salcedo making the move up to the tower. Looks like he might have got that kill. And here comes a big dynamic move, though, as it's one, Matt Jackson. It's two. Beautiful job by Matt Jackson. Gets a little two-pack here to make this one interesting. Still Horrible a little work to do. Control. He's got a body, a body in front of him, but I think that gun's down in the back corner. Horrible zone control. So Matt Jackson going to try to commit. Yeah, the, the player for Revo in the back corner bunker, his gun is not working. And he's not talking to the guy on the other table. I'd be screaming like a little baby. Help me. Help me. Okay. Oh, but the Jackson is going to yeah. get picked off. It was, hey, that was. He needed to just keep going. If he would have kept going, I think he would have got But he it. doesn't know that that gun's down. But, but you have to keep going, right? You know what I mean? Like If he had committed, he would have run down Velez in the back corner bunker and then had to deal with, I think, Geiger over there on the D side. Can't see who that is. No, maybe Cortez again. I think it's Silos. Maybe Cortez, yeah. Uh, but you had to deal with Silos over there. But still, that was the a great read. Great move. A great move from Matt Jackson to try to make that to try to turn move. the tables on. It got two-pack, but unfortunately for him, did get killed crossfield by, I believe, Cortez. So Rebel going to take a slight one-point lead. We are seeing some interesting points. I'm kind of digging this layout already, yeah, and though. It, and it's not playing as slow as I was afraid it was going to, so that's very... Well, we got slow. some time here, Rick. We do, we do. But I'm, I'm at least seeing some optimism with, you know, taking the snake on the break. They can take big bites on the Drio side. We haven't seen anybody go through the middle yet, but I'm thinking that's going to be coming up. <clears throat> Legion here on your screen. Down by one to Infamous. Still time to work with. Starting from the red side. And on the breakout, doubling up that back center and right into the snake. But looks like Infamous is going to do the same. And a little bit of a big bite on that D side, getting all the way to the wedge here off the break. So aggression for Legion. Let's see if it works out for them, though. They do not get a kill, but they do take a ton of ground. Infamous might have got a shot on that tower, Rich. You yeah. see the tower? He's yeah. getting a little frog in there. And Got him. Yeah, so that's what we saw. And it looks like a penalty going to be called. It's going to take two bodies out for Legion. That's not going to help. And we oh. called it. We thought Red, Red Legion might be trying to get up the middle. Infamous drops their first on the drill side, now getting a check on the snake side. And the penalty is Brussel back in the red one. And Ryan Hall, Ryan Hall with an uncharacteristic early death on the D side. A major penalty on Brussel back. Wow, that pulls, pulls everybody. off. Everyone, Everyone, essentially, as Messer comes off, Thomas Taylor's arguing with the ref a little bit and just kind of looking around in confusion and just a horrible turn of events there for Infamous real quick. So Hall dies from the D side. Brusselback caught one, draws a major. That pulls off. I mean, did they pull an extra body? Maybe that's what Thomas is that's asking. Thomas did somebody else get shot? One instead of two for one. But I think one of the guys that they were going to pull had a hit on him. So he's eliminated already. Well, it's making it a little interesting here. Tie ball game 2-2. Hey, man, this is pretty good for first match of the day. Yeah, these guys definitely had the coffee this morning. Warmed up and ready to go. 8 o'clock was the start of our first set. Man, we got an awesome day of prelim, prelims. Uh, battles going down here on center court. Diesel and Uprising next. Aftermath and Saints. But we still got a lot more time left to go here in this set. And the field is playing pretty fun so far. Yeah, just uh, with the way that this... And we already have seen it. I just think there's going to be a decent amount of chaos oh, out there's here, Rich. Chaos for sure. So and there's always chaos, but some fields are a little bit more methodical than others. You got to do this. The last couple a, B, fields, you know, the get, last get to couple C. layouts have been very slow and methodical. Yeah, this one not as much. A little bit more of a chaotic layout. Really, like all the layouts <clears throat> are different. All the breakouts are different too, Maddie. You know but, what I mean? Like every single breakout so far has been a little different. A much more conservative break here, Rich. As much more impact. -like. Impact, yeah. Impact going pretty much pocketed up, doubling up that back center still. But not producing any kills. Oh, that, got, and doubling got, up that back center is gonna get is gonna cost him a body. He caught one, he caught two, and he might have drawn a penalty. Nope. 
But no, yeah. but they went heavy guns and yeah. they didn't produce any kills. And then Whereas stayed, Revo takes and then all the ground the and they stay in the pocket and it costs them that body and in the back for center. It. Yeah. And again, if that guy gets to the 50 snake unmolested, then like he's just going to get kills, right? And that's where he is right now. He's past the 50 here for Revo. And here comes Salcedo. He's going to come across. A little tactical retreat on that D side for Impact, but Revo drops a body. Not Maddie. looking good for him. Oh, as Impact drops another Maddie. Yeah, Impact does lose down another body on that D side. So just, yeah, down to two. And they're actually going to be down to one right now as Jackson gets shot out of the spot can. So. Just one body left alive at the tower here for impact as Reeser is going to try to do a desperation run. And no one picks up Trevor Reeser. He runs all the way through. He finally ends up getting punished, but not before he took some ground. It's not going to matter, though, as Rebel going to coast Rebel's through a two-point lead. Yeah, they dropped that first point quick and then figured it out fast. Yeah, Impact's getting caught in the pocket too much. When, I think if Impact switch back to offense, they'll start scoring points. Well, with again. that roster that they have, I mean, the two 15th places, that's underperformance considering who they have on that roster. Stop Even it. though Henry Sense is hurt, yeah. um, you know, they picked up Geiger. They got Sean Salcedo, who had played on a lot of top teams the past couple seasons trying to find a home. Uh, picked up Silos Cortez and Caleb Abel. I mean, Revel is yeah. really trying have to on the put roster. a, you know, hyper-competitive roster out there. We just haven't seen that in the first two events, but we have definitely seen it in the last three points. Let's listen in real quick here. Here comes Axel. We're I'm winding him. myself yeah. talking so much. Yeah. Hey, Steven, I need more comms out of you. Caleb, you like? Four, you only have four five. They look focused, jumping into this next point here, tie ball game. Right now, Infamous and Legion. As Legion goes right into the snake, Infamous also trying to get into the snake, but Brusselback is going to get shot off the break. And here comes Legion. With seven minutes and 40 seconds left to go here, Rich. Yeah. Big bite into that center pin, Matt. I haven't seen anybody play that yet in practice or at the, obviously in the event so far. It's an interesting look. He's shutting down the D side, so they're going to try to move up the uh, drill side to get a shot at him because he's locking down the snake side. Red Legion now with another big move to the drill side, Matt. Red Legion's doing a good job of getting out of the back line, of playing for the, from the 40s and 50s, where Infamous is playing kind of in the back more, Matty, with all three backs hot. Yeah, I mean, they have been sending Brussels back pretty much every single, single point to the snake. Yeah, yeah. But I do like the creativity. We're seeing the diversity in the strategy here for Legion as they're going to crawl into the snake. I already have, I think, Krill Pridney at that pin. That's a creative look, and it's working out for him. They're shutting down the snake side. Yeah. He's tucked in there tight. And they also have a, a decent amount of penetration on that D side as well as they've gotten all the way into D3. And there, go, there goes uh, Karzlev past the 50. Infamous drops a D player, Matty. Well, this is that question we just talked about. Can't, how much defense can you play on this field? Here goes a yellow. Oh, this might, this could help out Infamous. Minor penalty assessed as Krill Pretty coming off. It's going to pull out Sergey as well, too. Red Legion now all the way into Infamous' side of the field on the real side, though, Matty. Oh, they lose him. He overplays that position. Back center, I think it's Kali Rudolph catches him. Might be down to a one on two now. Infamous with, I think, Nate Schrader in the Drito corner. Kali Rudolph in the back center. And Red Legion going forward on the snake side. Ooh, Callie Rudolph. I'm not sure if that's Cal. That's Thomas. That's Thomas. Thomas. Thomas Taylor comes yep. through. A beautiful move here from the veteran Thomas Taylor as he runs down. Still got Player some wheels. Player for Legion in the snake. He does still have some wheels. And with Nate Schrader also still alive, that penalty just an absolute dagger to the heart here in this point in this very close match. Yeah, that was a little bit of a mental error there. Great job, though, to stay composed out there from Thomas Taylor and Nate Schrader. So it looks like with Thomas taking some heat, he's going to let Nate... I mean, everyone on Infamous was taking some heat as they were down bodies there for a little bit and in really tough spots, but they, you know, they took full advantage of that penalty. Beautiful move there from Thomas Taylor. Yep. And some very intelligent play from Nate Schrader there running off the field here on your screen. Now, what is Impact going to do to answer? You, when we went to the pits, you could hear him say, hey, here comes Axel. So they know that Axel is going to get out there, down two, still some time to work with, but Impact is going to have to try to push down this field. So Revo expecting Axel God in to risk it to get into the snake here, probably off the break. Well, the nice thing about Axel playing so aggressively that first point is you bring him back in now, and they obviously you've got to assume he's going to go far, right? So that might open up a big D side move for Impact because obviously the guns from Revo are going to be snake side. And the Red Legion has illustrated that you can go all the way to the other team's Dorito basically on the break. Split screen breakout. Impact on the red side. Super on the blue side. Breakout from Impact, Matty. Three in the back center. Didn't go outside on either tape. Lose their first attack or D side. Four and five advantage for Revo as they spread the field. Yeah, Zach Yakimek taking the walk from that D side. And then they're going to delay in the snake with Laval. Five on four situation. And a solid play call from Revo to take the risk to send that body 
up into the 50 brick in the middle of the field. Yeah, unfortunately, he doesn't even know the snake is hot. It, it's, that brick is kind of ineffective snake side. Yeah. There's a bounce shot that kind of pushes you off it, and if you don't see the guy go, then as soon as he crawls up, he just eats you alive. Well, so to kind of co-sign on what you're saying, you send a body, you risk a body all the way up there. That is a shootable position, yeah. depending on how low you run. But And he he's looking snake side, not able to keep Laval a snake. Laval's about to get a free kill. But does Laval know he's there? Laval does now. One, one shot. Hey, that was him. smart. Just one balled him. Axel gets shot at the same time, though. Oh, Nick, Nick, is, Nick gets another one. Is feasting right now. Nick Laval gets a little two pack here. Looking for another free kill. Crossfield Nick gets, gets a three. three pack. Revo nice. down to just two players left alive against, uh, off of Nick Laval's. Nick Laval's getting bounced in the back now from the uh, Dorito player. Oh, he just got shot on the bounce shot. Nick Laval getting pinched out from that bounce shot as Velez runs into a stream, though. So, I mean, I I'll that take was, that trade. I think that was Omar shooting that bounce shot. That yeah, it was 100% Omar. That was, that's a hey, intelligent heads up play from Omar. Chaos set in. He sees his body starting to drop around him. Hey, where's Nick Laval? Finds out where he is, knew the bounce shot immediately. And after shooting maybe about 30, 40 paintballs off that bounce shot, got one to break on him. Um, so, Velez actually didn't even need to make that move. No, because Omar ended up shooting Velez. Not, it's unfortunately for Omar, Omar and good. Here for impact, it's not going to matter, though, as the damage has already been done. Nick Laval going up and get a three-pack, and it looks like Brandon Cornell going to clear things out on that D side. So just so that I understand this, Matt, because obviously my head bounces around a lot, what happens when a player gets into the snake and no one knows he's in there, and that guy goes to the 50 and wraps? And he shoots everybody? Oh, that's right. He shoots everybody. Okay. <laughs> so if you're playing out here, and uh, you probably want to make sure that you don't let the other team go into the snake, Unless. But that's why I'm kind of a little, I'm, I'm puzzled slightly because Revo sends a body up to the brick and. Out of position, couldn't see it. He's in that spot. He's looking snake side. Yeah, I can't see it. But his, so his job is to shut down that side, but he can't see it. So I just, yeah, I mean, if, if you're. If your intent is to keep the body out of snake, probably find That's another not spot. spot, right? Yeah. That's not. So if he goes to that little brick behind it, Maddie, you can't really see, stop him from going into snake, but you definitely see him slide across the yeah. gap, and you're like, "Hey, snake's hot, guys!" And knowing that, because there it is a forest of bunkers, and the guy can <laughs> pop up from lots of different spots and give you looks that you may think there's even more than one body in there, it's kind of crucial to know if there's a body in the snake. Sure enough, they don't, and he goes up. Uh, Nick Laval goes up there and gets a three pack, best move that we've seen out there so far. Even though it did not work out for him, or sorry, it did work out for him. Um, and then how now jumping in this next one here is down by one with five minutes and 40 seconds left to go. Legion, see what they do. They send body up to that brick as well too. Try to shut down the snake side. Now he just talked about this. Yeah, if he was looking the other way, he would have just caught uh, Nate on his fill out to the drill because you can lock down the drill side from that center brick. First first two days of practice, we really played a lot. Playing, yeah, that you now gets eliminated from the back. We tried we tried that center brick snake side a lot. It just never worked. Well, Kuzman gets into the snake. He's been the go-to guy uh, for Legion so far here at this event, and we're probably going to be seeing a steady dose of him to try to carry the attack in the snake. And with no smoke trough here, heavy shoe or big shoes to fill. Yeah. Four, uh, three on five advantage for Infamous. Malloy hasn't done much so far in this match, Matty. He needs to he needs to clock in here and get get into the game. He's gotten dinked out a couple points. Well, it's been up to uh, Nate Schrader to carry the, I think that's Schrader over there on the D side he's in this spot right now. Legion drops so another hard. body, Matt. Down to just two against five Infamous players. Great communication here from Infamous. They go with a relatively conservative play, just risking the yep. one body attacking on the D side, and they're just winning some gunfights right now. And now it's just Sergey Malloy in both corners. Not in a position to do anything. This is a big game for Infamous. Yeah, Legion hasn't had great performances out here. They've yet to make a Sunday in 2023, but you're still dealing with four of the best players that are that exist. Yeah. yeah, we haven't seen much out of them now. I'm sorry, this year. But still, if Infamous come out, win this game against Legion, I mean, that's a it's big hard. confidence boost. And now they're going to get a concession as Legion is going to concede the point to preserve the time with four minutes and 12 seconds left to go. And so it was Silberg this time. So I like that back and forth here. It's been a little bit more Nate to start out, but I mean, the big question is with you know, no patient, no jam rows, who's going to be the first? Who, 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 it looks like Brust back in the snake. Yeah. How is he going to do? Which and is, then between Silberg and uh, Nate over there on the D side, who's going to step up? Yeah, for, for me, I like the fact that there, it, that forces him to step up, right? It forces him to start playing that snake position instead of the second or third guy. Because I think he produces so much better out of the one position than he does the, the two or the three. Well, with Silberg, who made his name for himself on Columbus level, deciding to you know to leave the Colt over there, as they say, uh, and move over to Infamous. He's saying de deciding to be a trader? Is that what you said? <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, but big opportunity for him now. And then same with Nate. 
two cu couple years, two, three years of dealing with shoulder injuries. He's had some really good looks out here so far. Jumping back into this next one here. Impact still down by one. 5.45 left to go, and it's a five-on-five -five break. Impact takes Snake Corner and the Baby Drito, Maddie. So they get two outside the pocket instead of keeping all guys inside the pocket. I think that's a good call. Yeah, a little more up the field in the middle for Revo and a little bit more outside and wide for Impact. But both teams still at full strength. Now, here goes Impact getting the body into the Snake. Nice feel from that corner. It's Zupa again. So they're going between Zupa, who was the MVP California last year, helping carry the team to victory. And he's getting the spin here. Crawls right into Snake, too. They also launch outside wide with Justin Cornell on the D side. And Cortez. looks like uh, going to be body dropping right now for Revo from that D side. Rich. Chilo Cortez taking the walk early. He's going to put uh, Revo in a tough spot here. They've got one back center. Benny Carroll goes from the back center to the Dorito over there. they got the center cube, the snake side can, and the snake side insert. Ooh, Benny Carroll's getting a check. Looks like he's going like to get pulled out. Dead, yeah, but no penalty. Good. So three on, five advantage as Nick Laval goes from back center into the snake one. Oh, no, no. it catches the uh, player there in the spot can. Yeah, impact winning some gunfights, looking pretty good, trying to tie this one up. Yeah, and, and Revo just made it easy for him by going to the wrong spots and kind of doing the wrong stuff. Yeah, impact. He's on gonna cruise control in this one. I mean, yeah. no one's even feeling any pressure. Just trying to find these last couple bodies. Jackson moves up to the 50 brick in the middle. And again, you can play defense from this field, but it's really hard to play defense from the pocket, right? You got to get some penetration. You don't have to do it early, but you got to do it at some point. Two on, five advantage here as the Revo guys try to figure out where the last two bodies are. Impact makes a big move D side, kills the last two. Yeah, a couple moves from Omar and Salcedo to try to make something happen for Revo low on bodies, but Impact just beautiful control and containment. Cornell, Brandon Cornell running in to hit that buzzer, and that was a masterful point from Impact to tie the game up. Control, with a control, little, control. A little rich under four minutes to go. So yeah. maybe two more points we might see with the pace that's going out here. And we're in the pits with Ebbets and Impact. Always an interesting question with Impact and so many All-Stars on that team. Who's Dave going to go with? There's Big Dave Baines. Such a good job coaching the team to win. Lots of wins over the years, trying to get back to that top spot. He's also had to deal with some roster madness himself. And in a close battle with Baltimore Rebel here currently. Another close fight, but not as close. Two-point lead here for Infamous. Possible for Legion. Can they stay alive? Can they get up the field? They're doing a pretty good job of getting up the field for the most part. But. Big bite on the D side for the Red Legion, Maddie. All the way to Dorito 3. Infamous drops their first player, and Joe Barrett. Barrett taking the early walk. We haven't really seen Barrett die early much this year. And there goes a big fill outside wide as they're going to be losing oh, another body Infamous. in the snake. Oh, oh bodies are flying wow. off the field right now here for Infamous. That's <laughs> you, the, probably the fastest point. That, buddy. I've got nothing to say. <laughs> well, I mean, it was uh, <laughs> the initial break looked pretty good, but they just started walking out after Parslev that. Parslev blows open the D side. I think that's where most of the deaths came from, were from that D side. Uh, but that's, I think that's the fastest point that we've seen out here so far that did not include a penalty. So beautiful job by, uh, by Karslev on that D side to pull a little bit closer here and make this a little bit more interesting. Infamous still with the lead, but that's a frustrating point loss. Gonna have to shake it off. In the pits with Legion, big Sergey. I don't know what Dynasty is playing, their new camera guy, but they should be in this <laughs> So, that's uh, number 33, Kuzmin, the, the snake player. Ah, oh, yeah, I don't speak a lick of Russian. He was saying, good point, do that again, guys, do that again. <laughs> so, coming off early right now as Rebel tries to take ground, Caleb Abel, snake side. Oh, they're going to be losing Omara as well, too. So, it's just Velez here on the snake side in this tie game with three minutes and 45 seconds left to go. Edmonton impact. Revo shoots one and takes real state on the D side, Matty. Ooh, but it looks like on that shoots D side, another. yeah, Revo getting a couple kills here, trying to even this one up as Laval taking the walk, JC taking the walk, and now they're on the attack on that uh, D side. Too much. Going to try to launch and 
Did he get another one? He did as uh, Brandon Cornell's coming off too. They're not looking snake side. No one's looking snake side so far with these bodies coming off right now for Infamous. They don't have a body in the snake. Yeah, Impact's got two left, back center oh, and snake insert. They, Revo loses their body though, so now it's a two on one, Maddie. I'll tell you what, they were looking snake side. The second they flip a gun over though, Velez loses the gunfight. Yeah. So that's a tough death there yeah. for Velez. He was in an absolute fortress. If he could have pressured earlier when they were pushing down that D side, no guns were on him, they would it would have been a much different outcome, but he just didn't get the information he needed to make that read. I mean, I like the aggression there, but man, he was in a really good spot with three minutes left to work with. Yeah. No one was looking at him, just lost that first gunfight, and now Impact trying to turn the tables yeah and we saw that a lot in practice matt with the field will kind of turn you know everyone's living on the sides of their bunkers because you've blown through the snake and they've blown through the drito or you've blown through the drito and they've blown through the snake yeah i think with that chaos might be down to a two on one in two favor on one. of impact yeah revo with one player in the d3 impact with one player Nick, uh, zupa wrapping the 50 snake and one over there on the d side somewhere zupa finds the revo player his former teammate <clears throat> Catches him going forward. Yes. Impact going up by one. Great job by Impact to absorb the blows, tuck in, figure out where those bodies are, and then win a couple gunfights. Yeah. And those that's a point that Rebel's going to want back. <clears throat> I mean, it's just tough, right? You're Velez, you're in a four. Like, that 50 spot is massive. You have three minutes left. You have outside contained. And tie then game. Tie game against Impact, one of the best teams in the world. You know, but he's playing, he played on Impact last yeah, year. Yeah. This is his first event with the squad. He wants to feast out there, so I understand the intention. I love how he got in there, but that's that moment you want to take a big, deep breath, figure out what's in front of you, uh, and then not lose that gunfight. Execute, execute. Joe Barrett getting out there a little late for Infamous. So Legion making this one interesting here. Not a ton of time left on the clock as uh, three minutes and 45 seconds left. It's definitely enough for a couple more points though. As, Legion drops one. Yeah, first strike is infamous, shooting the body from the D side. Karzlev, and at this point with the way Karzlev is playing on the D side, that's a huge kill. Thomas Taylor also taking the walk there after the first initial gunfights. Four on four, Matty. Couple secondaries, couple secondaries here for Legion as their first to go. They move up to get to the wedge on the D side and all now also gonna crawl into the snake. Infamous locking it up. Oh, Sergey taking the walk, Maddie. Infamous is locking it up. Two snake side defensive spots, two Dorito defensive spots as Brusselback gets into the snake for Infamous. Yeah, I feel like Infamous is out gunfighting Legion. Legion's just making a little bit better moves occasionally to keep relevant in this yeah. game. But Infamous is very, looking pretty good here, man. Pretty dialed in as far as, I'm, this game's not over yet, yeah. but I yeah. like the gunfighting we're seeing out of Infamous yeah. early. They had the one point where everybody basically walked off at the same time. That was a little sloppy, but all the other breakouts seemed pretty well. Seem pretty good. Seems guys are like in control, communicating. Well, it seems they're playing a tough team, man. I know, again, I know the results don't this year. Again, we talked about this, but if you just joined us, Legion struggling this season. But the four guys they have on their roster, other than their snake attacker, those are all stars. Yeah. So if, and, and as it stands right now, Infamous is out gunfighting those guys. And it looks like they know the field pretty well, too. Uh, that's what I was going to say. Infamous seems like they understand how to play this field a little bit better than the Red Legion. Yeah. Well, Russell back in a good position here in the snake, but I was just going to say, unfortunately, Legion was in a little bit better field position, but then they'd step up and win another gunfight and see Kuzman walking off, eyes of the sky in frustration. Yeah, he just stayed on that trigger a little bit long. You got to try to make that shot and disappear because the longer you stay there, the more chance someone's going to get you. And look at that. They didn't get antsy. They get the kill. Russell back calls the, uh, the kill cross field. They get the communication. No one's in a hurry to go anywhere. They got a one point lead. Uh, they just got a crucial kill. They weren't in a hurry and they forced the concession. Just perfect textbook paintball in that last point here for uh, for Infamous, other than the death of Thomas. Good to see Brett Messer getting some spins, working he hard on his game past event. couple years. Yeah, he earned him that last event. He's also getting jacked, too. <laughs> Messer yeah. is not missing any days of the Definitely want to drink whatever he's drinking. The water must be really amazing around there. It definitely wasn't like the past the, the 100 shot. Let's get that double land on the high low on the outside of the corner. Kirby slips low to 200 or goes around the corner. I had it with you. Someone shot at the Hit the god. Yes, sir. They hit the god. Good shit. Good talk. Good, lots of good talks there in the yeah. Impact's pit, trying to figure out what they're going to do the next point. It's Travis Nansky, leader of the crew. Okay, 
Brett, Thomas, Sam, Joe, Tim. So Sam's going to get a spin here, Tim. Tim does look like the go-to guy on the snake side. Looks like they're going back and forth between Nate and Sam. Yep. Uh, over there on the D side. Okay. Impact going 2 1 2. That means one shooter in the back center. Revo goes two back center. Neither team. Oh, I'm sorry. Revo drops two on the break. Only two minutes left to go. Two minutes, six yeah. seconds. As, yeah, those two bodies coming off. That's huge for Impact. Yeah. Edmonton Impact with five eyes live, looking at a, a real big high body situation. And with a lead, I mean, that it should be the coffin the nail here, yeah. right? Unless Revo uh, is smart, concedes this point, and gives himself enough time to come back and win two. Or if Impact makes some huge mistake, major gets penalty, a, a major yeah, yeah, which you know, the quality of players on level or on uh, Impact probably not going to see that. But that's what Revo's hoping for right now. And if you're, honestly though, if you're Revo and you're three bodies and your coach is not going to concede, you kind of have the pressures off right now. Yeah, yeah, you're down by one and you're in a low body situation, but your coach is expecting you to start moving up the field to try to produce. Yeah, and also Revo kind of played right into Impact's hands there. Impact being up by a point, went kind of with a heavy shooter line, got two kills in the break. Revo tried to get outside the pocket, so they lost two bodies. And now you put yourself in a position where you have to play against a team that's as good or better than you down by two bodies, down by a point, and now you've either got to concede the point and try to come out and win two, or somehow battle back against a five on three advantage. Which... Margin is crucial though, so I mean, just keeping it, to try to, if you could, oh, penalty. Amar gets another penalty. Minor penalty, that's definitely gonna do it here for this point, but I do not still see a concession, so maybe trying to hope that they can keep it to a, you know, that the time would expire before Impact scores a point to keep the margin at one. Probably yeah, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen in a five on one. Yeah, again, still not conceding the point. So it looks like Revo is going to just accept this probably two-point loss. Yeah, Fuzzy's going to go hit that buzz. And I'm wondering if if uh, Jackson is just going to hit the buzzer so they get another point. Yeah, it looks like he is. Impact. Initially, they scored the first point, right? Revo goes on a little bit of run three and answered for them, and then Impact steps back up, and then it's all been Impact in the second half of the match. So... Like what we're seeing that impact early here, they faced adversity and they answered that adversity very nicely. Well, and I like the fact that they've won with offensive points and they won with defensive points, right? Because that's kind of been a problem for them in the past where they have no problem crossing it up, getting up on bodies and then, you know, winning the point. But when they had to go, they never did. And plus back making those big moves early on in that match made a big difference. Red Legion's basically in 5D mode. Yeah, Legion down by two. Yeah, infamous on cruise control here, kind of. Yeah. If, if Legion's gonna, we're gonna about to see staggered attack, full court press here. Ooh, a little yeah. bit of a, a little start. bit of a bad start, but not that bad. They oh, they lose Alexander Burdenkoff though, and infamous, infamous, so infamous risked that body with Thomas Taylor up to the center brick. Just in case, you know, it's good to send a body up to deal with the attackers if they are going to be flying down the field at you, but it doesn't look like uh, Legion committed to a big staggered attack, even needing to with just two minutes left to go, wanting a traditional point, though. It does look like Thomas Taylor going to be taking the walk. Another body comes off for Legion. It's Karzlev, so Karzlev and Malloy. Yeah, three on four advantage here for Infamous. Brussbeck's trying to find out where the Red Legion player is in the snake. He releases to go get him, but does not know where he's at. Yeah, Kuzman's still in there, but... Russell back still alive as well, too, and then he's going to go through to it's get that one. kill. Red Legion down to two, Matt. You know, do like what we've been seeing out of Russell back here in the snake. Yeah. The question was who was going to be playing the one on the snake side. I love this combo of Joe Barrett and uh, Tim Russell back here for Infamous. So Legion is going to concede. It's going to send the margin to three points now, but yeah, they're the man on your screen. I mean, Russell back's been around the league a bit, you know, and spent some time on, uh, on Impact. Didn't really get a ton of playing time there. Uh, cut his team, DMG, but, you know, always a highly talented prospect that we're just kind of waiting to, to emerge, and maybe this is his time. And Barrett is playing very consistent right behind him. I love what we're seeing out of Infamous in the gunfights. They look, again, they know the field. They're winning gunfights. They're playing composed. That's a good little one, too, over there. 
they don't seem to be getting rattled in the chaotic moments either. So, you know, Infamous is continuing to look pretty good, trying to improve upon the third place that we saw out of them. Again, just barely losing to Houston Heat. They beat Impact in the quarterfinals in a one-point match at the last event in Texas. And then they barely lose to Houston Heat in a very low-scoring game, 1-2. to two. Look like they're going to get a win against Legion here in this one. Question is, what's the score going to be? Jumping into this one right now, the two-point lead, similar situation with just 25 seconds left to go, Rich. It's going to be an impact win. Yeah. And again, Revo fed a couple a body over there on the D side in the break. I mean, obviously, they kind of had to go if they wanted to try to win two points, but... Caleb Ailo at the 50-yard line here for Revo. A little unrealistic. But just 12 seconds to try to stack up. Uh, one more point. Caleb is going to launch. Uh, Caleb's killing everybody. Caleb is shooting a lot of bodies right now, but unfortunately for Caleb yeah, and he, Revo, is he's not going to have enough time. So beautiful job by Caleb Abel to stack up what looked like a two or a three pack here. Three and you can pack. see the frustration. He needs to do that a little earlier in the match, Matt. Yeah. A little too little. Great job after it was too late. But yeah. before it was too late would have been a great time to do that. Still, though, not a bad look for Revo. No, not at all. Playing one of the best teams in the league as Impact currently sitting at fifth place. And a really good look for, for Impact. Kind of control there, like I said, and, and being able to win on offense and defense is huge out here because most of these teams are going to kind of go one way or the other. Yeah, Revo went one and three at the last event, did beat Diesel. They lost the Legion, the Hurricanes, and Damage. In, you know, no blowouts, though, for Revo at the last event. Long tournament, boys. Let's go. Yeah, that definitely needs to be said at this point. They have three more games. If they win the next three, they will be in. Uh, Revo's in a bracket with Extreme, Impact, Aftermath, and the Saints. Bracket Probably the hardest e. bracket in the out of all of them. I disagree, but that's all right. Red Legion drops her first body G side, Maddie. They get up to the center brick. Infamous with five guys kind of across the back. Locking those positions down. Red Legion now on Infamous' side of the field. Getting their first elimination on that center player in the tower. Infamous now dropping Brussel back from the... Uh, Snake insert, doesn't draw the penalty this time. Yeah, another body coming off for Legion. Sergei Solnisko taking the walk, Creel Pretty taking the walk as well, two from that middle spot. And Malloy's going over there to try to stem the tides, but it's a little too little, a little too late. I would have liked to have seen him got into this game a little earlier, Matt, in more of an offensive way. You know, like, it's tough to pull off uh, one on threes and stuff on this field just because the vision's not that good. You just don't know where the bodies are. Two on four advantage here from Infamous. Misses with no rush on finishing at this point, just shooting their guns, trying to burn up some clock. Yeah, they already have a three-point lead. That's a great margin. Yeah, and in Red this Legion situation. doesn't want to concede it and, and you know worsen their margin, so they're just shooting their guns. Although Infamous is on the Red Legion side of the field now, getting another elimination. Yeah, down to just 10 seconds. Here comes Barrett's going to launch and to try to put one more point on the board. If he hits the afterburners, he might be able to do it. No. There's yeah, that one body left yeah, alive at the tower. Corner. Yeah, that corner was still with, alive. Yeah, Bertnikoff there. out there. So not able to stack up that extra point to take the margin to four. Great win from Infamous. They, you know, sometimes Infamous likes to get off to a little, no, not likes to, but does get off they to a little love bit to of get a, off to a slow, slow start. start. And that was not a slow start. They already look pretty dialed. Uh, they're in a bracket with X Factor, AC Diesel, Legion, and Uprising. So depending on how good Uprising here is as this event and Diesel, that could be a pretty nasty bracket, maybe the bracket of death. It was fun watching Mouse play the snake yesterday. I hope it's fun watching play the snake today. Yeah, so first set is in the books. Congratulations to Infamous and Impact as they take the victory. Let's see Diesel, AC Diesel. Big question is, what, what are we going to see out of AC Diesel? A 12th and a 13th place with the all-star lineup that they have. They brought in Mike, Big Mike Kim, and there he is to help coach this team and try to take them to victory. See if they can do it first game's gonna be against Uprising also in this set. Uh, Aftermath with a new roster looked outstanding at the last event and they're gonna be playing the Latin Saints. That's coming up next here, 2023 NXL, Mid-Atlantic Major, Matty Marshall here on Go Sports. See you in just a few.